Over 400 languages have vanished in the last century. This is a stark reminder of the fragility of human heritage. Each language represents a unique perspective on the world. When a language dies, we lose invaluable knowledge and understanding. The rate of language extinction is alarming. Linguists estimate that one language dies every two weeks. This loss is comparable to species extinction, but its impact is often overlooked. We must act now to preserve these irreplaceable treasures. Language is more than just a means of communication. It is the lifeblood of a culture, carrying its history, traditions and values. When a language dies, a culture's unique identity is threatened. Stories, songs and rituals lose their original meaning and impact. Imagine a world where the rich tapestry of human expression is slowly fading away. This is the reality we face if we do not address language endangerment. The loss of a language is an immeasurable loss for all humanity. The Ayak language, once spoken in the vast and rugged landscapes of Alaska, fell silent in 2008 with the death of its last fluent speaker, Marie Smith-Jones. This marked the end of an era for the Ayak people, whose language had been a cornerstone of their identity and culture for generations. Marie dedicated her life to preserving her language, but she faced an uphill battle against cultural assimilation and indifference. Despite her tireless efforts, the forces of modernization and cultural homogenization proved too strong. She worked with linguists and scholars, recording as much of the language as possible, hoping to keep the essence of Ayak alive for future generations. Her story is a poignant reminder of the human cost of language extinction. The loss of Ayak is not just the loss of words and grammar, but the loss of a unique worldview, traditional knowledge and cultural heritage. It underscores the fragility of indigenous languages in the face of global cultural shifts. Similarly, the Tasmanian languages spoken by the indigenous people of Tasmania were systematically eradicated through colonization and forced assimilation. The arrival of European settlers brought devastating changes including the suppression of native languages and cultures. The indigenous Tasmanians were subjected to policies that aimed to erase their identity and heritage. The last speaker of a Tasmanian language died in 1905, leaving behind a void in our understanding of their unique culture and history. This loss is a stark reminder of the destructive impact of colonization on indigenous communities. The extinction of Tasmanian languages means the loss of ancient stories, songs, and wisdom that had been passed down through generations. It highlights the urgent need to protect and revitalize endangered languages around the world to preserve the rich tapestry of human culture and knowledge. Despite the tragic loss of Ayak, there is a glimmer of hope. Guillaume Lee, a French linguist, dedicated himself to learning and documenting IAC from Marie Smith-Jones. He has since published a comprehensive IAC dictionary and grammar, keeping the language alive for future generations. Ledue's work demonstrates that even extinct languages can be revived through dedicated effort and collaboration. His story is an inspiration to those working tirelessly to preserve endangered languages around the world. Section 5, the power of language, more than just words. Languages are not just collections of words and grammar rules, they are living, breathing entities that evolve and adapt over time. Each language carries with it the history, culture and identity of the people who speak it. They embody unique ways of thinking, perceiving and interacting with the world. Through language, we express our deepest emotions, our most complex ideas and our shared experiences. It is through language that we connect with one another and build communities. For example, the Piraha language of the Amazon rainforest lacks words for numbers, colors, and past tense. This unique linguistic structure reflects the Piraha's distinct way of life and their immediate experience-based worldview. Their language challenges our assumptions about what is essential for communication and cognition. This challenges our assumptions about universal concepts and highlights the diversity of human thought. It reminds us that our way of understanding the world is not the only way. By studying different languages, we gain insights into the myriad ways humans can perceive and interpret their surroundings. 
By preserving linguistic diversity, we preserve a wealth of knowledge about human cognition, culture and history. Each language is a repository of wisdom, containing unique expressions, idioms and metaphors that offer a glimpse into the minds of its speakers. Each language offers a unique lens through which to view the world, enriching our understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. When we embrace linguistic diversity, we celebrate the richness of human creativity and the endless possibilities of human expression. Through language, we find common ground and appreciate the beauty of our differences. Section six, the domino effect, how language loss impacts us all. Language extinction has far-reaching consequences. It can lead to the loss of traditional knowledge about medicine, agriculture, and the environment. It can also erode cultural identity, leading to social fragmentation and a sense of displacement. Moreover, language loss can have economic impacts, limiting opportunities for education, employment, and cultural tourism. Preserving linguistic diversity is not just an altruistic pursuit. It is essential for the well-being of individuals, communities, and the planet. Section 7, a global call to action, protecting our shared heritage. The preservation of endangered languages requires a collective effort. Governments, organizations, and individuals must work together to support language revitalization programs, document endangered languages, and promote language learning. International organizations like UNESCO are playing a crucial role in raising awareness about language endangerment and supporting language preservation efforts worldwide. However, more needs to be done to address this urgent issue. Section 8. What you can do. Small steps, big impact. You don't need to be a linguist to make a difference. Start by learning about the endangered languages in your region or supporting organizations working on language preservation. Even simple actions like learning a few phrases in an endangered language or sharing information about language endangerment can have a positive impact. By raising awareness, supporting language learners and advocating for language rights, we can all contribute to the preservation of our shared linguistic heritage. Section 9 the future of language, a shared responsibility. In this section, we delve into the importance of preserving linguistic diversity and the role each of us plays in this mission. The future of language diversity depends on our collective action. By embracing linguistic diversity, we not only preserve languages, but also the unique perspectives and wisdom they carry. We celebrate the richness of human expression, which is reflected in the stories, art, and traditions of different cultures. Each language is a treasure trove of knowledge and history, and the interconnectedness of all cultures becomes evident when we see how these diverse expressions come together to form a beautiful mosaic of humanity. Let us work together to create a world where every language has a voice. This means supporting language education, encouraging the use of native languages in daily life, and advocating for policies that protect linguistic diversity, and every culture can thrive. When we celebrate cultural heritage days, participate in traditional festivals and cook traditional meals together, we strengthen the bonds within our communities. Imagine a future where children grow up speaking their ancestral languages, learning the stories and wisdom of their elders, and feeling a deep connection to their heritage. Where cultural traditions are passed down through generations, ensuring that the knowledge and practices of the past are not lost, but continue to enrich our lives and where the world is a symphony of diverse voices, each contributing its unique melody to the global chorus. This is the future we must strive to create, a future where diversity is celebrated, languages are preserved, and cultures thrive in harmony. Together, we can make this vision a reality. Section 10, a world of voices, celebrating linguistic diversity. In a world increasingly dominated by a handful of languages, let us remember the value of linguistic diversity. Each language is a unique expression of human creativity, a window into a different way of seeing the world. By preserving languages, we preserve our shared humanity. Let us celebrate the richness of human expression and work together to ensure that future generations inherit a world filled with a vibrant tapestry of languages and cultures. The time to act is now.